Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sunnet Television. We're going to take a look at a backup alarm. It's not a general backup alarm, it's a very specialized piece of equipment. So I'm going to quickly step behind the counter and we'll check it out. The product is from Brigade. It's a company from the United Kingdom and we have it here available on Sirenet. So let's go check it out right now. Well, here we have the piece of equipment in question, but before I get into the details on it, let me quickly show you something here. This is the size of the unit we're going to be talking about, and this is the size of a traditional, more or less anyway, backup alarm. So you can see there's a definite size difference between these products. Each of these products have their own unique features, and we're going to talk about them right now. Now, backup alarms have different types of frequencies in relation to how they function. And there's basically two types of backup alarm currently in operation in the United States and to a degree around the world. We've got the standard bleeping sound backup alarm, otherwise known as a piezo type backup alarm, which is directional. And then we have the Brigade brand of product, which is omnidirectional. So basically its frequency range is much wider than the traditional bleeping backup alarms that you see and hear from day to day on vehicles. There's a reason behind the fact that Brigade came up with this concept to put into backup alarms. And one of the reasons was that when you're working on a job site or operating in a neighborhood and the backup alarm is functioning, when the vehicle is backing up, hence the backup alarm, you can't always gauge what side you are on in relation to the backup vehicle. With a wide range frequency backup alarm, your ear will allow you to identify whether the vehicle is coming from your left or your right or in front of you or even behind of you, even when you're actually blindfolded. This is the only backup alarm in the United States as approved by the U.S. National Council for the Blind. Now I'm going to turn this on. I'll do it in a second. This particular unit, by the way, operates at 107 decibels at one meter. The tech specs, of course, are available on the website, so you can check those out. But the fact that it operates at 107 decibels is pretty loud. But the most important thing about this particular alarm as well is noise pollution. The reasoning that they're using the sound that you're going to hear, which is a swoosh sound, it's difficult to describe, you'll hear it when I turn it on, but basically that sound dissipates after the one meter. So in other words, if you're in an alleyway and you're backing a garbage truck down that alleyway, or you're in a crowded street and it's late at night, i.e. one or two in the morning, and you want to get some sleep, you're not necessarily appreciative of a backup alarm waking you up, up in your apartment or home or whatever that may be. Whereas with the omnidirectional systems, that will reduce the noise pollution. So we have a lot of cities mandating the use of this type of backup alarm. Now this particular unit is very large, as you can see here, and it could be used on a dump truck, but essentially it's designed at the quarrying industry. So in other words, on mines and quarrying operations, this alarm has had tremendous success because it means that the people in the field can identify from what direction the very large quarry truck is coming from, or as I say in the UK, lorry. So let me go ahead and turn this alarm on. Now, we are inside a studio, so it is loud, but I'll just show you something in a second. Now, my microphone is on me, but I can clearly hear that this sound is in front of me. So I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm going to move it off to the side, and I'm going to put it behind me, and I can identify from what direction this is coming out. The sound level from this unit, of course, is at 107 decibels, and as I said earlier, that's at one meter. It's a multi-frequency unit. The voltage will operate between 12 and 24 volts, and it draws about one amp. It does conform to SAE J994, which is a U.S. standard for backup alarms here in the United States. And again, it's very tough, and it is waterproof. In fact, it's IP68 as far as waterproofing goes, and it also is European market certified, so it's CE certified with the E-Mark. So again, this is a product that can be used both in the North American market and in the European market as well. Very tough unit. It's sealed against all the sort of crap that you might get out in the area of a mine. So again, dirt, grime, mud, 
It's not going to get involved in this particular unit. It's very robust indeed and very well built too. Well, there you have it, the 107 decibel backup alarm available from Brigade. It's available here on SirenNet, so it's definitely something worth checking out. And as always, many thanks for watching. I'm Stuart.